Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Tobin here. Um, we are at our deer lease. Um, I got Reed riding shotgun with me. He's over there in the bed. Uh, we drove in after I got off of work. Uh, this afternoon, drove straight out here. It's been raining a lot at the house. Um, and my weather app showed it hadn't rained a lot here. And I guess my weather app lied to me because we... Uh, Terribly. Yeah, it's, it's super muddy here. Uh, we had to put it in full drive just to make it up to our camper, which is not that far and not that uh, that rough. Uh, our lease is down the road a little bit, and uh, there's no way we'll be able to drive uh, around on the lease uh, tomorrow at all. So if we shoot a deer, it means we're going to be dragging it out a long, long way or cutting it up and carrying it out. Uh, so should be interesting. Uh, we're going to take you all along with us and, and see what happens. Reed hasn't had to... Uh, a chance to come out to the lease this year um he had fall baseball in the early season and then he uh bro ended up breaking his arm uh back around christmas time a little bit before christmas time so uh he couldn't really shoot with the cast on so he's got his cast off this is the last weekend of deer season it's uh extended youth season and an extended uh doe season for adults so uh Anything's game for Reed tomorrow, and uh, I might try to get a doe if I can. Uh, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Well, it is Saturday morning. Had a pretty good night's sleep for the deer lease. Uh, so Reed slept pretty good. So we're going to make a quick breakfast, run over, and get a deer stand. back here by the deer stand got over here out of the wind um, and we've been on a emotional roller coaster this morning uh, when Reed shot that deer and he, he kicked I, don't, I hope in the video you can see it but he he kicked I mean higher than any deer I've ever seen and I've never seen a deer I've hunted my whole life I've never seen a deer kick like that that wasn't dead it wasn't heart shot and dead um, you know within 50 yards of where he was shot at um, we went out looked for uh blood we found some hair by the feeder um which when we saw that it kind of gave me i didn't tell reed at the time but it kind of concerned me um didn't find our first good blood for about 60 or 70 yards um and it wasn't that it was it was blood but it wasn't um you could still see that he stopped and stood there for maybe a few minutes 
um, and there was a puddle about the size of your hand maybe um, it looked like good blood though um, anyway we kept going kept going found a few more spots like that a few little specks of blood here and there we probably went how far do you think we went yeah, probably. Uh, it seemed, seemed like that. It probably wasn't quite that far, but uh, and when we got to the end of the line, you know, where I kind of uh, told him that we probably aren't going to find him, he was obviously very upset. And I, um, I'm not saying that um, uh, to make fun of him or anything like that. I'm saying it because it was real emotions. And I've, I've, if you've hunted very long, you've experienced those emotions, and um, they're not fun. Uh, so we're going to go back load up our stuff go back to camp um get the laptop out and look at the video on the laptop and see if we can see anything it, it looks good on the camera on when i'm watching it back on the camera but the screen's so small it's really hard to tell so all right guys so we're back in the camper uh came back and ate lunch and uh resting up we're about to head back out here in another hour or two uh we watched the video and i grazed him um Luckily, he's not dead right now. There's no yeah. way he's dead. Yeah, uh, we watched the video over and over and over again up close. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm thinking he, he just grazed him either right underneath the belly, not not the belly, but right underneath the brisket, or or right at the back of the, the legs, somewhere right in there. Uh, so, But I don't think it's a fatal shot at all. Uh, I think the couple of spots that we found, you know, like a, a puddle of blood, it was... Uh, it was just from his leg or, or brisket bleeding. Um, it wasn't like a, it wasn't lung blood or anything like that. So, anyway, so you know. Uh, we'll get back in the blind and try again. I've gotten over it now. So. <laughs> well, he, he says he's gotten over it. I, I don't know. I've shot I've, uh, shot deer, not found him several years ago, and I'm still not over it yet. So, but he is. He's in a better mood. That's for sure. So. Awesome, dude. Probably like that, about to eat, and I yeah. was gonna, t I was about to take a shot, and I did, 
and I shot it right there. Yeah. It's right where you need to shoot it. I'm proud of you. Soak down water. <coughs> we I don't think we're even halfway there yet. Uh, Here, let me have a drink. Did I die? Just the muscular bowl scout. I feel like fridge right now. <coughs> like fridge. Which one? Did I die? Just the muscular bow scout. Right that far? Is that what he said? Yeah. It's the old guy. Yeah. <sighs> when he turns into the young muscular bow scout. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we were getting ready to leave deer camp and just realized we didn't shoot our outro. So you see Reed bundled up back there. Golly, it got cold out here last night. Like, I think they said. Like 27. I think they said 24, but yeah, there's frost everywhere. So we uh, we got it's 8:30 now. We woke up at about 7:45 and we had packed like, we packed up nice. and we're heading out of here. That little doe that reached out last night's in the back of the truck. Uh, we we just gutted her last night. We didn't do anything else. Um, and uh, she's frozen solid. So we're gonna get home and then take her to the processor and read. Uh, for the most part, Reed gets to pick what he wants uh, to to turn her into. He's thinking what spicy breakfast sausage right now is gonna be some of it. Get some good back straps and steaks, and looking forward to it. So we'll uh, we'll do a catch and cook video when we get the meat back, and we'll cook some of it and show y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all again.